move on to Eli Lilly announcing a $3 billion investment to expand GLP-1 manufacturing capacity at its Wisconsin facility today. This coming just a day after the company published results of a head-to-head -head trial comparing its weight loss drug ZepBound to Novo Nordisk's Wigovi. Patients losing 47 percent more weight on Lilly's drug after 72 weeks. Joining us on the fast line for more is Dan Skavronsky, Eli Lilly's chief scientific officer and president of Lilly Research Labs. Dan, great to have you with us. Good to talk to you again. Yeah, pleasure to be on. Thank you. Um, there was a lot of excitement surrounding this head-to-head -head trial, but there was one big question mark, and that is uh, the tolerability profile. Will we get those data anytime soon, and, and can we extrapolate it all from historic trials, uh, where historical trials where we saw the you know the nausea and vomiting percentages? Um, can we extrapolate that maybe Lily's profile looks better than Novo, seeing that you know at 72 weeks versus 68 weeks on on Lily on uh, Novo's drug? that the percentage of patients suffering nausea and vomiting were, was lower? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question. Thank you, and uh, thanks for highlighting this trial. Uh, we showed the patients on ZepBound uh, lost uh, about 50 pounds uh, compared to the competitor with Govi. Uh, patients lost 33 pounds. Uh, in the press release, we, we noted that the uh, tolerability of the drug, the adverse effects, were similar to what we've seen in previous trials for each of the two drugs. Um, in previous trials, uh, we've seen that ZepBound is, uh, is generally well tolerated. The most common side effects are, as you point out, the nausea and vomiting and diarrhea, which uh, still happens in a, in a fraction of patients. Most of those patients actually stay on the drug and, and get the benefit. Uh, the study wasn't designed to compare the, the safety of the two drugs, but uh, of course we'll be presenting that, that data at a scientific meeting. Um, and uh, we're excited about what we saw, not just in the efficacy, but also excited about the uh, tolerability profile of, of ZepBound in this trial, uh, as it's demonstrated in previous trials. So, I mean, this has great implications in terms of the ability to market, saying, you know, your drug ZepBound is more effective than the Novo Nordisk. But, you know, there are a lot of drugs coming down the pipeline, and I'm wondering, you know, it's sort of like an arms race. All these, there are all these drug candidates um, from you, from Novo, from other smaller players, uh, where they want to benchmark higher and higher weight loss advantages. How do you look at that uh, in terms of the importance of gaining that sort of benchmark weight loss percentage in terms of the success of a drug? Yeah, th thank you. Uh, weight loss is one of the important aspects that patients are looking for, for sure. That's why we did this trial. Uh, it's actually the, the most common question we get from uh, people who who are interested in these drugs is, you know, the two great drugs out there, how do I know uh, which one to try? And, and, uh, and now we have data comparing them directly. But also over the last year, we've generated a lot of data on ZepBound, but also some of the other benefits of the drug to sleep apnea. Um, and most recently, we showed uh, a, a trial where where we tested it in people who had um, pre-diabetes, meaning they, they were at risk to go on to get diabetes, and we reduced the risk of diabetes in those patients by 94%. So we're accumulating a lot of data about the benefits of weight loss, but you're absolutely right. We're, we're in a race. Uh, maybe it's a, a good race for the benefit of society where we're, we and, and Novo probably as the main two competitors keep trying to out-innovate each other with better, better medicines. Uh, Novo had uh, semaglutide, and then we came with ZepBound, which is the, the dual-acting molecule we're talking about today. Um, and now they are working on their own dual-acting. We're working on a triple-acting molecule that actually targets three incretins, retotrutide. We're working on an oral molecule. Both of those are in phase three. I think we're going to get to a point with molecules like retotrutide that are in phase three, where for most people, I hope they'll be able to achieve a, a normal body weight. Uh, even starting with very high levels of obesity uh, on this medicine. And so then it becomes important to, to think through those other benefits and, and how can we make sure that we're improving the health of, of the whole patient uh, in addition to losing weight. And, and we look forward to more and more of those data coming out. 